Hello, Heather here from Starkweather Association Services. We are your most experienced and trusted your membership partner. Welcome to our one minute YAM. Discover additional store settings. This is a training series all about helping your association bridge the gap between your team and the, your membership technology. We definitely understand that YM is a huge product. The commerce stuff is in the content area. The event orders are through the store products. It can seem like there is no rhyme or reason. But we promise YM is not trying to make it complicated. It is just a big platform with a lot of features. So don't worry if you feel lost. It could take years to grasp all the tools and settings available. Or you can contact Starkweather for help and we can give you the insider knowledge you need to make your association a success. With this in mind, we want to go on with today's video, discover additional store settings, and we're highlighting some settings you might not have discovered yet. They are located in the content area, and this is a configuration area for your entire online storefront. So it's a one size fits all for all things online. So that is going to be located, navigate to your admin dashboard and click content and settings. And then you're gonna scroll on the left-hand side and expand commerce settings, followed by store, tax, and shipping options. So as I said, this is the general store setting, so it's going to be for the entire storefront. You have the option to enable gift messages, just like those you see on Amazon and other commerce platforms. They can send a message to the recipient of the product. The store payment options, that is going to be set up in your commerce settings. Um, so that would already be taken care of. So just verify that that's correct. And now here is where you can customize a little bit on the storefront. You have your in-stock label, low stock, and out-of-stock label. So you can customize those to how your organization wants that to be displayed. As you see here, we have available for purchase, limited availability, and not available. Ask about our wait list. And another setting that's important here is download links expire. So this is the only place you're going to be able to configure the expiration date for any of your products that have a downloadable attachment to them. So that's where you can say never expires or expires after a certain number of days after the purchase. And then we have default view for your store homepage and your store category. And that's where you can either select grid or list view, just for your preference there. And now we're going to get to the tax and shipping settings. So if you are not charging tax based on a user's a customer's location or based on where an event is held, and it's just an overall blanket tax for everybody that makes a purchase on your site, this is the place to do it. Um, so that's where you would put that default tax and your percentage there and then label it per your country you know, tax, or if you're doing GST, HST, put that there. And then we're going to go, we have some tax exempt fields. So that's going to be enable tax exempt checkbox, the example of the text to display online, enable the tax exempt ID box, and then a place to input the instructions for the online user to input the ID. And then require that. So that requires the customer to input that before they can get that tax exemption, which is highly recommended. And then the next thing is your sh shipping tax details page. So that's going to be what is displayed on the front end um, whenever you have shipping or tax enabled in the checkout page. So, and then you can label that like maybe you only are charging tax, maybe you only charge shipping, or maybe you don't at all. So you can leave that blank. So, and then the last one here is require location and store and dues. So that's going to require the location to be completed on your checkout forms for store and membership dues purchases. And then the last thing you have here is any extra language content that you want to place in that shipping and tax information on the checkout on the front end of your site. And then save those settings, and that's how you update all your settings for the store-wide. 
those are settings in YM that are not always intuitive to find and can be easily missed. So I hope that you learned something there or had a refresher. And the great thing, once they are configured, you don't have to worry about it again, unless something on your end changes, of course. If you or your team could use some additional training on the available features in YM, please email us for help or visit our website to schedule a complimentary consultation. Many of our YM advanced support subscriptions include customized training, so it might be a great fit. Thank you again for tuning in. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Or if you have any questions, feel free to comment and we will be happy to assist. Thank you so much. Have a great day.